Hello everyone, my name is Fox. In this video, we're gonna be showing you 3DS emulation on the Steam Deck. So once again, you're gonna go ahead and open up the Discover Store on the bottom. You're gonna to go to Applications, and then you'll go to Games, and then you'll go to the Emulators category, and then Citra will be front and center. You're gonna go ahead and click Install on that. To access it, you'll go to the KDE menu down here, and you're gonna to go to Games, and then Citra, and then you'll launch it, and then you'll get this menu here. At that point, you're gonna to go to Emulation and Configure. For the most part, most of these settings are already ideal. There's nothing really to change here. I've enabled new 3DS mode there. I also have selected 2x native internal resolution. It makes things look a lot better and the Steam Deck can handle just fine. I leave texture filter at none, but you can change this to whatever you please. For these swapping screens, we're going to actually change that in the controls. Audio I don't change, but in controls you will have to change these. These will not be mapped to anything. So at this point you can either do this in the Steam client, which is kind of recommended because you'll be able to bring up the virtual keyboard and press enter. Because if you see right here, even if we max out the screen, we can't hit the OK button down here, but we can hit enter on a keyboard and a virtual keyboard, unless you have a physical keyboard that you can plug into your Steam Deck, which you'll be able to hit enter after you've entered in all of these commands. Like if you know button A, you're gonna to wanna to do B, obviously because uh, Nintendo buttons are that way. Uh, you don't wanna have A be this because then things will be kind of backwards as far as playing traditional, like a standard Nintendo game. So these keys are mapped, the ABXY are inverted. Outside of that, everything else is the same. So on the D-pad, if you press left here, you're gonna press left here and it'll work. You know, this needs to, this will only work provided that Steam is loaded on the bottom. At that point, when you have all that done, the only other thing I really recommend is in the hotkeys. So I have selected uh, L3 and R3, which I'm going to map in game and I'll show you in a second. Additionally, I mapped one of the back buttons to uh, X, which is, so I have a flip screen and full screen. So I have X at full screen, swap screen is S, and toggle the layout with F. You can make these whatever you want. We'll show you what that looks like in the Steam input configuration. At that point, you're pretty much good to go. We just need to make sure that in Steam that it is mapped. So we'll go to Steam and we'll go to library. At this point, you're gonna wanna make sure that Citra is in here. If it isn't, we're gonna go ahead and say, add a non-Steam game. You have Citra right there. We're gonna say, add selected program. Citra will then get added and then you're done. So at this point we can go ahead, you used to have to log out, but now we can actually hit this key. So this will return us to the standard game mode and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go to library. We're gonna go to Citra and then we're gonna open up Citra. Now you can change the Steam input while this is loaded. So we'll do that in a moment. Let's just get Citra loaded. All right, so Citra is loaded right here. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna press the Steam button. I'm gonna go to controller settings. And then in controller settings, the only thing I wanna do is make sure that I can have access to the trackpad for the mouse so that I can touch the screen with the mouse, the trackpad input. All right, so here we are in con uh, controller layout. We're gonna go over here and we're just going to say gamepad with mouse trackpad. We want that and we wanna edit the layout and we want on the joysticks, we want the click right, uh, right click to be F. Okay, and then on this one, we want that to be S, and then on one of the back buttons, we want that to be X. All right, so at that point, you can make these whatever you want, but this way we can have a mouse cursor, this way we can touch the input for the touchscreen for the 3DS, and then we can also, you know, swap some screens around. So we're gonna go ahead and click on all right, so now you can see that pretty much everything here is fine. And now we'll be able to click OK after we've added all of these controls. We're gonna to go to hotkeys and just make sure that all of this is just working. So if I go here and I press S, it works, great. And then toggle screen layout, no, press in here and that'll work, perfect. And then for full screen, there we go, perfect. All right, so all of that works. We're gonna go ahead and click okay. At this point, you can now start playing your games. To protect humanity from Earth. Uh, you so just so you can see right now that I am actually manipulating the touchscreen down here. Now, because I've mapped some of these keys to L3 and R3 that we can kind of swap through these. If you wanted to, just make it a little bit easier to control here. Like much of a party. What better way to celebrate my return than with a festive bloodbath? After all, I have been gone for 25 years. 
power for five minutes at a time. After that, your wings will burn up and you'll fall. Oh, you have no idea how embarrassing it is to be an angel who can't fly on his own. So thanks for your help. Without you, I'd be finished. When you're not... Thank <laughs> you.
All right, so that's pretty much gonna be my look at 3DS emulation on Steam Deck. I really do enjoy the 3DS, and I make a joke that it's finally playable on, on the go. Uh, but I own a bunch of 3DS games, so I do really enjoy it. There are some things that kind of need to be talked about here. One, the trackpad being able to be used to kind of touch on the touch screen part of it is actually a pretty cool little feature. You just have to enable it, like I said in the beginning. Also consider using some of the hotkeys that I suggested. So being able to switch to full screen mode easily. That's kind of helpful also just to be able to stop emulation and other things. The other thing to be mindful of is that there is no, as far as I can tell, there is a just-in-time shader uh, compilation thing, but there is no async uh, shader compilation when the just-in-time is really kind of bogging down every now and again. But you can see that whenever you load up a game that it'll load all the shaders that have been pre-compiled. So this is Kirby's, and you can see that it's now loading far more shaders this time. So uh, there is shader stutter when it needs to compile if you've never played a game before. And that can be a little bit frustrating and there's nothing really to get around that. There is another 3DS emulator that I'm aware of um, called Mirage, I think, but I just learned about it just a little bit ago and, and Citra's already installed, so I went with this. Having said that, that's pretty much 3DS emulation on the Steam Deck. Uh, I do recommend following some of the hotkey functions I said, so you can kind of switch between swapping the screens and whatnot. It's uh, pretty easy and you don't have to worry about L3 and R3 on, on a 3DS and then also the full screen key and some other hotkeys on the bottom might be worthwhile to go ahead and map. Uh, I do really recommend using the mouse trackpad option so that you can, you know, even when it's nice and small like this and you don't have to worry about using your finger. So there's lots of little features like that. Uh, that is pretty much it. As always, guys, thank you for your time and thanks for watching.